Hello my friends, and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. Obert Siring, a picturesque municipality located in the district of Myrtal in Styria, Austria, has a rich history that intertwines with its natural resources. Among these resources, timber stands out as a significant contributor to the local economy and culture. Historically, the dense forests surrounding Obertsiring have been a source of livelihood for its residents. The heavy timber harvest in the region can be traced back to centuries when wood was a primary material for construction, heating, and even for crafting tools. The vast expanses of spruce, pine, and fir trees provided an abundant supply, ensuring that timber was always in demand. Over the years, the methods of timber harvest have evolved. Traditional logging, which once relied heavily on manual labor, has given way to more mechanized and efficient practices. Modern machinery, sustainable logging practices, and a deeper understanding of forest ecology have transformed the timber industry in bird siring. However, with the heavy timber harvest comes the responsibility of maintaining the ecological balance. Obert Siring has been proactive in adopting sustainable forestry practices. This ensures that while the timber is harvested to meet the demands, the forests continue to thrive and regenerate. Conservation efforts, reforestation initiatives, and strict logging regulations have been put in place to protect the environment and the future of the timber industry in the region. In mountainous areas with challenging terrains like this, transporting heavy materials like timber can be a daunting task. The introduction of a pulley system, specifically the rope system with a Sherpa um universal, has revolutionized this process, making it safer and more efficient. This system serves dual purposes. It acts as a retrieval rope and facilitates forced rinsing. The ergonomic design provides significant advantages, especially when combined with devices that have an integrated loading crane. This synergy allows for seamless operation between the crane and a subsequent device. The running carriage, a crucial component, operates using a return rope that passes over two pulleys. These pulleys are strategically positioned on the valley side end. The precision with which this system operates ensures quick and accurate positioning of the running carriage. This efficiency reduces the assembly effort and eliminates obstructions, enhancing the overall productivity. A unique feature is the side-mounted guide rollers on the carriage. These ensure that the retrieval rope remains in place, preventing any tangling or misalignment. The pull rope, on the other hand, operates through a loaf mechanism within the carriage. At the rope's end, there's a simple joker device designed for easy operation. This device ensures that the rope clamp is securely fastened and can be easily released when necessary. The system's efficiency is further enhanced by a hydraulic pump, driven by the movement of the carriage on the support cable. This pump generates the necessary pressure for the operation. Once the running carriage reaches its destination, it automatically holds the load, reducing manual intervention and potential errors. The rope device plays a pivotal role in controlling the entire operation. It provides real-time feedback to the driver about the incoming load, ensuring timely and accurate responses. This system is designed for professional use, catering to varying transport distances, typically between 400 and 650 meters. Its primary application is in thinning operations in mountainous terrains, 
both uphill and downhill, for medium to heavy wood transport. Harvesters are sophisticated machines designed to streamline the process of felling, delimbing, and bucking trees in the forestry sector. At their core, these machines combine precision, power, and adaptability to efficiently handle a variety of tree types, from hardwoods to crooked trees. The heart of a harvester is its unique frame geometry, which allows for optimal handling and processing of trees. This frame supports a set of feed roller arms equipped with a parallel bar. This design ensures that the harvester can balance and manage uneven stem surfaces, providing consistent traction regardless of the stem's diameter. One of the harvester's key features is its ability to navigate challenging terrains. Its frame design and mechanisms allow it to firmly grasp trees on steep slopes, ensuring stability and safety. When the harvester is in its tilt-up position, its frame extends, enabling the controlled felling of large trees with precision. Incorporated within the harvester are various innovative features that enhance its performance. An automatic chain tensioner ensures the chainsaw remains at optimal tension, reducing wear and tear. A photo sensor detects the tree's diameter and adjusts the machine's operations accordingly. The harvester's endless rotator allows for continuous rotation, facilitating efficient delimbing and bucking. Logging trucks play a crucial and challenging role in the transportation of logs through winding and treacherous mountain roads. These colossal trucks are among the largest in the world, navigating off-highway routes and private roads in the rugged terrain. The sheer scale of the logging operation in the Kayangaroa region is staggering, with around 5 million tons of timber harvested annually. Every one of these logs is carried by trucks, and it often involves multiple trucks before reaching its final destination. These logging trucks are designed to withstand the rugged terrain and heavy loads. Many of them are American or Canadian made, built with overbuilt and oversized components to handle the demanding conditions. Self-loader logging is common, with trucks like the Tri-Drive being a typical choice. These trucks are known for their traction capabilities, especially in challenging conditions like pumice strands and steep slopes. One of the unique challenges these logging trucks face is the extraordinary length of the logs they transport, which can reach up to 35 meters. Combined with the trailer, these trucks can extend to 40 to 50 meters in total length, making them oversized and demanding exceptional skill to maneuver. Boggins Logs to Lumber Processing in Colville, WA involves several key steps to transform raw logs into high-quality lumber with minimal waste. Here's a detailed overview of the process. Merchandiser Infeed Raw logs are initially brought into the sawmill and passed through a merchandiser infeed system. This system assesses the logs for their quality, size, and species. Species analysis and cut to length saws. After analysis, the logs are cut to specific lengths using saws. This step ensures that the lumber pieces are of uniform size and suitable for further processing. Species size sorting bins. The cut lumber is sorted based on species and size into designated bins. This sorting helps in organizing the lumber for downstream processing. Sawmill infeed. The sorted lumber is then fed into the main sawmill, 
where further processing steps take place. Debarker. Before proceeding, the logs may go through a debarker, which removes the bark from the logs. This prepares the logs for the next stage in the processing line. Step up to Hewsaw Infeed. The debarked logs are then fed into the Hewsaw Infeed system, which is responsible for shaping the logs into usable lumber pieces. Hewsaw Operator. An operator oversees the Hewsaw operation, ensuring precise cuts and maximizing the usable lumber yield. Hewsaw Outfeed. The lumber pieces exit the Hewsaw, having been shaped and cut to the desired specifications. The processed lumber is further sorted based on species, length, and dimension to facilitate subsequent handling and drying. Loading into dry kiln. The sorted and processed rough or green lumber is loaded into a dry kiln. Kiln drying is a crucial step to reduce moisture content and prepare the lumber for further finishing. Kiln drying process. Inside the dry kiln, the lumber is subjected to controlled temperature and humidity conditions to gradually reduce its moisture content. This process ensures that the lumber is properly dried and stabilized. This step smooths the lumber's surfaces and prepares it for the final finishing. Planer outfeed. The planed lumber pieces exit the planer, now with a smooth finish. Trimming. To optimize lumber quality and value, the lumber may undergo trimming to remove any defects or irregularities. Stacking. Finally, the finished and trimmed lumber is stacked for storage or shipping, ready to be used in various construction and woodworking projects. This comprehensive process ensures that raw logs are efficiently transformed into high-quality lumber while minimizing waste and maximizing the value of the final product. Here's a detailed overview of the cross-laminated timber CLT, production process using the Caliso press. The production begins with the placement of the first layer of timber lamellas lengthwise. Once the first layer is laid out, glue is uniformly applied over its entire surface to ensure strong bonding with subsequent layers. After the glue application, the next layer of lamellas is laid out crosswise, perpendicular to the first layer. Glue is meticulously applied between each layer to ensure a robust bond. This process is repeated for every subsequent layer. CLT panels typically consist of three, five, or seven layers. For instance, a five-layer CLT can be produced up to 20 meters long. The assembled layers, known as the charge, are positioned right in front of the Caliso press, ready for pressing. Alignment of the charge. Before pressing, the charge is carefully aligned to ensure uniformity and precision. The charge is then led into the Caliso press. Heavy beams hold the charge in place, ensuring it remains stationary during the pressing process. The press applies top, side, and end pressure to the charge, ensuring a tight bond between the layers. High-frequency energy. 
to expedite the curing of the glue, high-frequency energy is introduced. This technology is not only fast but also a safe way to laminate the layers together. To optimize the use of materials and reduce costs, areas intended for door and window openings are left out, saving both wood and glue. Once the glue is cured, the laminated element is sent for further processing. Every CLT element undergoes finishing, tailored based on the specific requirements of each project. The Calisso press is renowned for its efficiency and high capacity. It's designed to handle elements up to 20 meters long and 3.5 meters wide. The manufacturing process of prefabricated houses, especially in the realm of timber construction, has been revolutionized by companies like Weinman. With their innovative and needs-based solutions, they cater to both carpenters and prefabricated house manufacturers, offering a comprehensive suite of services from the initial design phase to the final element creation. Machinery and Technology Weinmanns play a pivotal role in the prefab house manufacturing process. They cover a vast range of tasks, from rapid cutting to intricate processing. The precision of these machines, combined with their high-speed operations, significantly boosts production efficiency. The CNC-controlled multifunctional bridge is a testament to this, automating tasks like planking, formatting, and creating openings in the elements. Modular Systems Weinman's modular system is tailored to meet diverse customer requirements, regardless of the project's scale. This modular approach ensures flexibility, allowing for the production of individual elements that can be assembled on-site. Software Integration The integration of advanced software makes a significant difference in the prefab house manufacturing process, it aids in optimal work preparation, ensuring that routine tasks are completed efficiently. The PowerTouch operating concept stands out, offering machine operators assistance, especially during disruptions. Space-efficient production. The Weinman Compact System, with its modest space requirement of just 300 square meters, is a game-changer. It's the most flexible production unit for closed elements, making it an ideal solution for modern timber construction. Precision and quality. Features like the carpenter's table ensure precision orientation, while the automatic turning process simplifies handling and reduces the risk of damage. Once the elements are ready, installations and insulation are introduced, ensuring the final product meets the highest quality standards. Efficiency and productivity. With dual workstations and optimal logistics, the production process is accelerated. This not only ensures faster delivery, but also guarantees dimensional accuracy in the final product. Innovation in wood is the hallmark of our times. From bathhouses to single-family homes and from kindergartens to apartment blocks, the versatility of wood is evident. Even in the realm of industrial halls, wood, as a sustainable and CO2-neutral material, is making a mark. It's not just about the environmental benefits. Wooden constructions are meeting the demands of the most intricate commercial and industrial projects. One of the significant advantages of wooden construction is the time efficiency it offers. Imagine 16-meter-long wall elements meticulously prefabricated in a controlled environment, ready to be delivered to the construction site at the precise moment they're needed. This isn't just about speed. It's about high-tech precision. With advanced technology supporting the process, there's an assurance of high precision in the prefabrication of these components. This not only ensures short production times, but also guarantees
The environmental benefits of wooden construction are undeniable. The carbon sequestered in the wood ensures a substantially lower ecological footprint compared to traditional construction methods. Even as these half-finished elements are being processed, they are carefully lined with insulating wool, ensuring optimal thermal insulation. Every detail, from the holes for later assembly to the moisture measurements, is meticulously managed to guarantee the highest quality. This commitment to excellence is further affirmed by the quality seals these components receive. However, innovation doesn't come without challenges. Transporting these oversized wooden components to the construction site is a logistical feat. But once they arrive, the assembly on-site is swift, thanks to the precision with which they were crafted. This efficiency is a testament to the skilled workforce in the woodworking industry. Their training, motivation, and dedication ensure that from the planning Roof insulation is a crucial step in ensuring energy efficiency and comfort within a building. When done correctly, it can significantly reduce energy costs and maintain a consistent indoor temperature. The procedure outlined below describes the process of insulating a roof with two layers of insulation based on the information from the NAUF insulation. Insulation process, cutting the thermal insulation, Choose the unifit insulation thickness equivalent to the height of the rafters. Cut the insulation strips to match the clear spacing of the rafters, allowing an extra 10 to 20 millimeters. Use a knife designed for mineral insulation to make the cuts perpendicular to the insulation plane. Inserting the thermal insulation. Place the cut insulation between the rafters, ensuring it aligns with the rafter plane. The correctly formatted unifit insulation should fit easily and remain in place without any additional fixation. Mounting the grid, install the grid using either direct or rafter hangers, following the guidelines provided by the dry construction system supplier you're using to create the ceiling. If you're using a wooden grid, you can skip this step. Inserting the under-rafter insulation, place the unifit under-rafter insulation into the load-bearing grid of the plasterboard ceiling. Attaching the membrane, attach the home seal LDS-100 vapor barrier to the load-bearing grid. For steel grids, use double-sided adhesive tapes, and for wooden grids, use staples. Lay the membrane with an overlap of 150 millimeters. 
it points where it connects to adjacent gable or face walls and penetrating elements like chimneys, skylights, etc. also maintain a 150 mm overlap. Sealing the membranes, seal all membrane connections airtight using home seal LDS soliplan tapes. Create joints with masonry structures using home seal LDS sealing tape or solomore sealant. Also, consider the detailed connection of the vapor barrier to the gable wall. Attaching the plasterboard sheets. Finish the structure with plasterboard or fiber-reinforced gypsum boards. The highly efficient Home Seal LDS-100 vapor barrier reduces the occurrence of leaks at the screw penetration points. For wooden panels, it's essential to double the grid to ensure that the numerous screws or nails don't degrade the vapor barrier's efficiency below the permissible limit. Rendley AG's modular house manufacturing process, a blend of precision and innovation, Rendley AG, a pioneer in the realm of modular construction, has redefined the way we perceive housing. Their modular houses are not just structures, they are embodiments of modern design, sustainability, and efficient construction. But what truly sets Rengli AG apart is their meticulous manufacturing process. Let's delve into the intricate journey of how a Rengli AG modular house comes to life. Conceptualization and Design The journey of a modular house begins on the drawing board. Rangley AG's team of architects and designers collaborate to conceptualize a design that aligns with contemporary aesthetics while ensuring functionality. This phase involves understanding the needs of the modern homeowner, the challenges of the environment, and the potential of modular construction. The result is a blueprint that serves as the foundation for the entire manufacturing process. Material Selection Rengli AG places a strong emphasis on sustainability and quality. This ethos is reflected in their choice of materials, from thermally treated wood for formwork to energy-efficient insulation materials, every component is chosen with care. The materials not only need to be durable but also eco-friendly, aligning with the company's commitment to sustainability. Module Prefabrication the heart of Rengli AG's manufacturing process lies in its state-of-the-art factories. Here, the designs are brought to life. The house is divided into modules, each corresponding to a specific part of the house, such as the kitchen, bathroom, or living area. Each module undergoes a systematic construction process, frame construction. The basic frame for each module, often made of robust materials like steel or treated wood, is constructed. This frame serves as the skeleton, providing structural integrity to the module. Insulation and weatherproofing. Once the frame is ready, it's time for insulation. Rengli AG uses top-notch insulation materials to ensure energy efficiency. Weatherproofing measures are also implemented to protect the house from external elements. Interior fittings. With the structure in place, the module's interiors are crafted. This includes installing floor coverings, fixtures, electrical wiring, and plumbing. Given the emphasis on prefabrication, when a module leaves the factory, it is almost ready for occupancy.
quality control. Wrangley AG's commitment to excellence is evident in its rigorous quality control measures. Each module, once constructed, undergoes a series of tests and inspections. These checks ensure that every module meets the company's high standards in terms of design, functionality, and safety. Transportation. One of the challenges of modular construction is transporting large modules from the factory to the construction site. Wrangley AG, with its logistical expertise, ensures that each module is safely and efficiently transported. Specialized semi-trailers are employed, designed to handle the maximum transport dimensions of the modules, ensuring that they reach the site without any damage. On-site assembly. Upon reaching the construction site, the real magic begins. The prefabricated modules are assembled on a pre-prepared foundation. Given the high degree of prefabrication, this process is swift. Modules are aligned, connected, and secured in place. The precision with which each module is manufactured ensures that they fit together seamlessly, like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Final touches. While the majority of the construction is completed in the factory, some final touches are added on site. This includes connecting the house to local utilities, ensuring all systems are functional, and making any site specific adjustments. Handover. Once everything is in place and the house is ready for occupancy, Wrangley AG's team conducts a final walkthrough with the homeowner. This ensures that every detail aligns with the client's expectations and that the house is ready to become a home. Building a swimming pool is a significant investment, not just in terms of money but also in terms of time and effort. However, with the advent of innovative solutions like the Mega Pool Blocks from Install Pool, the process has become simpler, quicker, and more efficient. These blocks, made of EPS-25 and covered with a 10 mm layer of EPS-80 on the inside, ensure that your pool has smooth and even walls. Here's a comprehensive guide to installing a swimming pool using these blocks. Understanding Mega Pool Blocks Mega Pool Blocks are designed for those who wish to shape and build their own swimming pools. Made primarily from EPS-25, these blocks are reinforced with a 10 mm layer of EPS-80 on the inside. This design ensures durability, excellent insulation, and a smooth finish for the pool's interior. Benefits of using mega pool blocks, sturdy construction. The blocks provide a robust structure that's reinforced both vertically and horizontally. Excellent insulation. The EPS materials used in the blocks offer superior insulation, potentially saving up to 60% of heat loss. Versatility. The blocks allow for a customized pool design and any chosen lining can be applied to the surface, giving the pool a unique appearance. Installation process, site preparation. Begin by marking out the area where the pool will be installed. Excavate the site to the desired depth, ensuring that the ground is level. Laying the foundation, pour a concrete slab or use compacted gravel as the base. This provides a stable foundation for the blocks. Setting up the blocks, start placing the mega pool blocks in the desired shape of the pool. These blocks interlock, ensuring stability and alignment. Ensure that the EPS-80 layer faces the inside of the pool.
Reinforcement. Once the blocks are in place, insert vertical and horizontal reinforcements as per the design's requirements. This step ensures the pool's structural integrity. Applying the finish. After setting up the blocks and reinforcements, apply the chosen lining or finish to the pool's interior. This not only gives the pool its final appearance, but also adds an additional layer of protection. Filling and testing. Once the construction is complete, fill the pool with water and check for any leaks or issues. Address any problems before proceeding. Final touches. Install any additional features like skimmers, filters, heaters, and other pool equipment. Ensure that all systems are working correctly. Maintenance and care. Install Pool, the company behind Mega Pool Blocks, emphasizes the importance of regular maintenance. Proper care ensures the longevity of the pool and the efficiency of all associated equipment. The company also offers a range of accessories, automation systems, and pool chemicals to enhance the pool experience and ensure its upkeep.